Aston Martin DB4 GT Zagato is a Grand Tour sports car designed by Zagato, which was produced between 1960 and 1963. It was effectively a DB4 GT, lightened and improved by the Zagato factory in Italy by Urkel Spader. The popularity of the original DB4 GT Zagato resulted in two subsequent waves of cars based on DB4s being rendered into Zagatos through the cooperation of Aston Martin and the Zagato Works in Italy. They are known as Sanction 2 and Sanction 3 cars. The first major race using an Aston Martin DB4 GT Zagato was around Easter in 1961 at Goodwood. Driven by Sterling Moss, the car finished third behind an Aston Martin DB4 GT and the winning Ferrari 250 GT. Unfortunately this car is just a 118th scale model, which sadly found its way into my three-year-old son's hands. This originally belonged to my wife's late father, so it's not something that could just be thrown away, like a cheap plastic toy. Plus it's a thing of beauty. So now we've just turned it around, you can see that the rear wheel is missing. Unfortunately that is going to need to be put back on there. Um, it's more or less a clean brake so it should go on nicely. And here we've got the uh, steering. The steering arm has detached from the uh, main wheel on the, on the left. So that's going to need redoing. And here we are. Where is that? Made in China. Very beautiful car indeed, as I'm sure you'll agree. So here we are. Firstly, I'm going to start taking this apart. Then we undo some screws. And it gets to the point where I realise I don't actually need to undo these screws, so I'll take them out anyway. And this is uh, a windscreen wiper, which I'll sort out later. There's still more I need to take off. There's still some more screws I need to undo ones that actually needed. So we'll just take off this centre bit here. As you can see when the wheels have dropped off, it needs to be put back together onto the steering rack. Don't know what you call that part, but I'll keep that. Let's put it over here. This is where it should go. Let's take the thing off properly. And we'll put that aside, move the car aside, and we'll just deal with this steering arm, steering rack, and the wheels. And it's actually quite fiddly clean break so it should glue on nicely. The problem here though is to how am I going to keep this in place. I need to glue it and hold it in place somehow. So let's add some glue. Where would you be without super glue, eh? And that is a plastic spanner, a plastic toy spanner uh, from one of my son's toy 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 toolboxes. I'm using that to try and balance the steering arm onto the uh, wheel hub. Um, it's actually really fitly to do. And it takes a few attempts. 
just to get it in place so when it sticks together you should get it nice and straight that's the idea anyway and a bit more glue and we'll leave that to set for a while Now we've got to deal with the rear wheel. It's another clean brake, so just glue that in, I think. Putting the first step here. Pop the top back on. And well, let's get it back on. nice easy fit. Let's hold that in place for a little bit just so it sticks and it looks okay so far. Just like nothing has ever happened. I'm happy with that so far. So later on let's get the uh, everything's all dried, the glue's now dried that's nicely done. I'm happy with that. That should last a few more years. And let's sort out the steering. That's nicely glued together now, so I'm just going to put it all back together. bit back into place whatever that's called but that holds in the whole steering mechanism in it stops it from dropping out it looks okay the screws back in I don't know why I took these screws out but there you go and there we are as good as new almost so from the uh, from the casual eye Everything, everything is as it seems. You can roll it back and forwards. Although these are not really designed to be used as toys, so. That will look good on the shelf again. So on closer inspection, you can see the alignment is not quite right. Um, it certainly wouldn't pass an MOT. And there she is. Beautiful car. Well that pretty much sums it up. I will deal with the windscreen wipers another day and uh, thanks for watching.